Zero Gravity Olympics on the International Space Station is just a brief distraction for Butch and Sonny, test pilots of a Boeing spacecraft hobbled by a technical glitch. And NASA's now revealed they could be stuck there until next year. So here we are in the front of the International Space Station. Extra food, clothes and other supplies have already been sent up, while engineers work out how to bring them back down. Britain's first astronaut says it will take some readjustment for all on board. Sleeping arrangements will make the Butch and Sunny feel a little bit more itinerant. Um, there are six cabins, sleep cabins normally. Um, so yes, a crew of seven typically means that there's always one who's not really got anywhere to, <laughs> uh, to, to be and to have their own personal effects uh, all the time. And to be quite honest, having an extra two come on board, it's kind of nice because you've got more conversation. Um, they've recently been on Earth, so they can give you a bit more of a chat of, you know, the, the gossip from the office kind of thing. <laughs> When they launched on the first crewed flight of the Starliner in early June, Butch and Sonny expected to be home in a little over a week. But some of the thrusters that steer the spacecraft failed as it prepared to dock. Boeing has investigated and insists it's safe to fly. NASA isn't so sure. This space scientist says having reliable thrusters is critical. Those thrusters have to perform correctly in order to achieve the correct trajectory to ready the spacecraft to make its re-entry to Earth. And whereas it seemed a few weeks ago that NASA or Boeing engineers together with NASA were making progress in understanding what we call the root cause, so what, what really is happening inside this propulsion system, it seems that they really haven't got to the bottom of that just yet. We did a bunch of test points where we both flew uh, the spacecraft. And NASA is giving it a few more days to find a fix, but is already working on plan B, with the astronauts catching a ride back to Earth on a SpaceX capsule next February. Houston really does have a problem. Thomas Moore, Sky News, 